Chapter 7 Deadlocks The Deadlock Problem A set of blocked processes, each holding a resource and waiting to acquire a resource held by another process in the site. For example, <coughs> a system has two tip drives, we name it as A and B. P1 and P2 each hold one tip drive and each needs another one like this. Okay, so process P0 first execute a uh, call wait A and get resource A. Then process P1 execute and exit and call wait B and get resource B. Then process P0 execute again and call wait B. But now because uh, the process B already hold <coughs> held by P1. So process P0 is put into the waiting queue for resource B. And then process P1 execute again, execute wait A. But resource A is already used by P0. So process P1 is also put into the waiting queue for resource A. So both process P0 and P1 are in the waiting state, a uh, waiting queue, and the, but the both cannot release the resource A and B. So this is this is deadlock. Section seven one system models. A system consists of a finite number of resources to be distributed among a number of competing processes. The resources may be partitioned into several types. Each consists of some number of identical instances, such as CPU cycles, files, and I.O. devices. Uh, examples of resource types. If a process requires an instance of a resource type, the allocation of any instance of the type should satisfy the request. If it doesn't, then the instances are not identical. A process must require the resource before using it and must release the resource after using it. A process may request as many resources as it requires to carry out its designated task. Obviously, the number of resources requested may not exceed the total number of resources available in the system. In other words, a process cannot request three printers if the system has only two. In the, the normal mode of operation, a process may utilize a resource in only the following sequence request, use, and release. A set of processes is in a deadlocked state when every process in the site is waiting for an event that can be caused only by another process in the site. The events <coughs> with eight with which we are mainly connected here are resource acquisition and release. The resources may be either physical resources, for example, printers, tip drives, memory space, and the CPU cycles, or logical re resources, for example, semaphores, mutex locks, and files. However, other types of events may result in deadlocks. To illustrate, a deadlock state. A deadlocks may also involve different resources types. For example, consider a system with one printer and one DVD drive. Suppose that process PI is holding the DVD and process PJ is holding the printer. If PI requests the printer and PJ requests the DVD drive, a deadlock occurs.